All right, welcome back to the podcast. Today we are here with Afalabi Ali, the voice of Phoenix in the video game Valorant. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Happy to be here, man. How uh, you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's always good to get another another Valorant voice actor on the on the roster here uh, on the podcast. Uh, what do you What have you been up to recently? What's been going on with work and stuff? Yeah, do you know what? Just I'm um, just got back. We've been doing um. Uh, some more stuff for Valorant actually today, which is exciting. So hopefully, today. Um, hopefully you guys will see some exciting new footage real soon. But yeah, just been been busy doing lots of um lots of different bits that I can't really talk about. But um, obviously, yeah, yeah, it's been ah. fun. You happy with it? You excited for for everything? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And um yeah, I think Valorant's been such a great opportunity to sort of like just play and and have fun and, and like the guys are just amazing <clears throat> yeah especially david they're just so so fun and free and yeah and um and the team there are awesome so you know i'm really really grateful that I've, I've been blessed with this opportunity yeah how was that for you um were you doing any voiceover work before or did it just kind of fall in your lap can you take us through that did you know what so it was my first a actual game my first game um, I'd done like uh, bits and pieces of um, voice stuff before, but hadn't done a game before. So it was I literally came in uh, and in a deep end and just figured it out. And David was just guiding me and giving me lots of tips. And we spent loads of time like just developing character and um, as you would. And yeah, and that's kind of how it came about to be honest with you. So it was um yeah, it was just like a stroke of luck and an opportunity. So yeah, it was really um really 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 good. Do you remember what some of the first things they told you about uh, key character traits of uh, Phoenix or anything you can share on the, the early development of kind of cliff notes that you got for the character? Do you know what? So when, we, when I first auditioned, there was a breakdown and it had this really cool sort of character, mm -hmm. uh, which was like a silhouette of, of like an early Phoenix, if I'm correct. And... Um, and I was like, oh, whoa. And they were like, yeah, this character's gonna be based in the UK. And I was like, this is this is mad. So um, for me, just seeing that picture and that imagery, I instantly caught like a, a feel. And I was like, oh, this looks really interesting. And, and I kind of um, went in off the back and I was just throwing, throwing loads of ideas out there. And the team over in London were like, okay, we've got some ideas, but like, just, we want you to just sort of play around with it and, um, and I kind of just added a little bit of a, my own spin on it. And that's kind of how we came about. But um, initially, they, we had, um, I think they had a few, a few lines and, a, and, a, and like a picture. And that's kind of what we went off. Mm -hmm. Was it similar to, or did it, did it change a lot from, from when it released? Uh, oh, this is a while back. I think it, I think it was pretty, pretty similar. The only, um, only thing that slightly changed were, they would, uh, the team would be like, oh, if you have any any suggestions or any ideas you think would would suit the character as we were finding it, you can sort of ad lib or tweak stuff here and there. And we kind of did that together. And um, uh, funny enough, like uh, David was using a lot of like sporting references, like mm -hmm. all stars in like NFL and, you know, talking about basketball. And like, just trying to make it, trying to draw links to, to Phoenix being this character who is, you know, he is kind of like the All Star, and mm -hmm. we had lots of music actually. Oh, yeah, really? Lots, lots of, yeah, lots of lots of lots of like rap music, lots of rap, lots of hip hop, and um, yeah, to start off like just to get into the zone and find this space and find that sort that sort of bravado that he has. So um, yeah, I was really fortunate that they really did um, they tried loads of different things to sort of you know to spark different um this different flavors so it was yeah it was, it was a really really fun process and every time you get in the studio to to be honest with you it, yeah there's so much freedom there's mm -hmm. so much play you get there like okay cool we do um we go over some lines and uh just to sort of get me back into the space mm -hmm. and and often i'm just like riffing and then we just get back and we get into it so yeah it, it doesn't feel too dissimilar from like you know taking a script and having to like you know go through it we um yeah, we kind of, we play around, we play around with it. So that's one thing that I really enjoy, we play nonstop. And uh, it's a blessing when we hear like other characters' lines. So like early on when we started, I think I heard like early, some early Jets lines and you're just like, oh, well, this is cool. <laughs> or, 
or, or they or they showed me like a, a really tiny snippet of of the a cinematic trailer we had. Mm-hmm. So you'd see it and you go, oh, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So um it was always in that drips and drabs because they're so secret. Like they they hardly tell you know, you, you kind of find I think when we first did it, what was it? It was called something like what was it? It was called uh Project Project A. Uh, Project Project A and yeah. all these different names. Phoenix had a different name. You know, everything was just cryptic. So you're saying, you know, the lines mm-hmm. were just like you don't know what you're doing. And then as you as we slowly, you know, started to flesh it out, and I think um in like my recall, things are getting a bit, oh, I'm starting to understand a bit more what's going on. But I honestly I didn't know what I just didn't I didn't had no idea of um what we were doing. Yeah. Uh was is that comfortable for you when when they're allowing you to have so much freedom or like, I feel like when, if I'm relating to that, I feel like I'd be nervous to throw out something bad, but I feel like as an actor, you have to be kind of scared or not scared to fail with throwing something out there. So you could kind of twist off of that and make something new, no matter what, like throwing ideas and stuff like that. Is that comfortable for you in that space? Oh, for sure. I I think being in like the booth is, it's so cool because it's it's not something you get to do every day. So honestly, it's like it's a real novelty. Novelty, sorry. So like every time I get in into the booth, you've got your headphones on and the mics there. I just yeah, it's really it's a comfortable space. I think um, especially with this on this job on Valorant, mm-hmm. it's been really really fun because everyone's so supportive and they're collaborative. So you know they'll they'll go okay, you go as far as you want to go and we'll rein you in kind of thing. So yeah, it's um. It's really fun. I think, of course, like as most things, you know, you're putting yourself in a vulnerable situation. But I, I, I find it quite fun. It's exciting, and um, yeah, it's a really, really good um, character and part to play. Really, so yeah, yeah. I feel like it has a lot to do with the people around you. And I've, mm. I've only with talking to people who've done the voices for Valorant, I've only ever heard good things about. Uh, the the directors and like people working behind the scenes that they've worked with and stuff so i can only imagine that it's always been a pretty comfortable space for you oh yeah oh and one thing i will say the team's massive so <laughs> i've only met a fraction of the, of the, of the guys <laughs> yeah. there and you know the people that put the animations together and you know there are so the team's so so big that Sometimes it can be quite overwhelming to have so many people on, on a call, but mm-hmm. everyone, everyone's like really lovely and welcoming. But yeah, the, the, it does take a real, you know, machine behind, behind everything to make the, the game that we see that, you know, oh, this is amazing. But there are so many different people that are working together. And, and um, yeah, like even like when we were in today, like uh, it's so fun seeing early, the early, uh, you know, the sort of almost like storyboard oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. When you see how it develops and the drawings and, yeah, honestly, and even the the soundtrack, everything's just yeah, it just comes together. The synergy is amazing. So um, yeah, it's a real, it's a real um, it's a blessing to be on. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. it's a real blessing. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, have you gotten the chance to play Valorant yet? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I I just leave it to the professional because of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I leave it to the pros. I leave it to the pros. But uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a tricky one, isn't it? There's, yeah. there's so, there are so many different angles. There's oh, yeah. like think what's great is that you you can really sort of like nuance your performance almost like to who you kind of connect with or resonate with as a as a person because mm-hmm. you've got you know like different characters that you can mess around with so i think um yeah i think it's cool it's really dope obviously i play as phoenix but <laughs> but like you know I've, i think i've played once like jet and you know and I, I really like some of the newer characters we've got in the games now but mm-hmm. um but yeah it's, i leave it to the pros but yeah. how about yourself oh yeah i mean i play a little bit um but also i uh i've spent i spent a lot of time playing at the beginning and mm-hmm. um now i kind of just morally do this and but i keep up with it so i can still be into it and stuff like that but uh yeah i play quite a bit um but i i agree it's very intricate and it's very i i don't think it's necessarily um super easy just to to jump into i could see how it would be very overwhelming at first oh, yeah. yeah um what do you get what's what's the most requested voice line you get or like something that someone says to you uh, jokes over you're dead 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that probably uh, um uh or there are some really uh what, what else did I get? Uh, yeah, I think jokes over is is probably a big one or um uh super high level tactic or um what else did I get? Uh careful now. <laughs> careful now. <laughs> That was a good one. Yeah, that's that's a big one. So I I texted my group chat to see what they wanted uh for you to say and I got that's going on a highlight reel for sure. <laughs> okay, okay. You, uh and then triple baby. Triple baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's one. That's going on a highlight reel for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that's a cool one. I like that. I like that one. That's a cool one. Uh, the lines, I think they really um they were playing around with the just the lines in the studio and sometimes like, oh you know what why don't we just try this or try that try this and you're just like yeah you know what? I think the fans will love this so um yeah we got some really cool lines for Phoenix actually I like in Valorant I see it with a lot of other characters like Astra and um at, when they bring out like the culture of that that character and that person that they've actually experienced did you feel that way with um like the uk and stuff like that did they did they bring out like maybe words or something oh yeah for sure for sure like there were so many nuanced words like people reach out you know because especially like you know words like oh even just the colloquialisms that i think phoenix has as a character is very sort of like UK based. And I think mm -hmm. they were really supportive of that because, you know, um, I know over in the States, you guys say stuff like buddy, you know, oh, yeah. we might say bro or mate, like you know, little things like that. We got to sort of tweak around with. And I think, um, yeah, it, it's fun because some every so often you'll hear a line and you'll be like, oh, that's, does that sound a bit too American for Phoenix? You're like, <laughs> yeah, okay, now let's, okay. What, would, what, do you, what do you think we should adjust that with? So, oh, for sure. Yeah, it's really nice to hear to hear um even like me as a as a as a child growing up, there weren't really that many games. Yeah. I could say that resonated to this level. So um yeah, it's it's a really big move that we get to um we get to have, you know, have a have opportunity to sort of champion new voices. And uh yeah. I think that's I, I've talked about it before that it's I think it's really important that especially with a lot of kids in America that you see not necessarily exposed to different types of cultures like we have all these games that are pretty americanized or whatever like that mm -hmm. like the voices but in valorant you kind of are getting um like s subtly sped or fed like these different words from cultures and you're kind of learning about it and being represented in a very good way of these different parts of Oh, the world um because like now i know a lot of stuff about like ghana and stuff like that from uh astra and just learning about that stuff i think is super interesting and i'm glad that we get to have you guys represent like a part of the world and i think it's super cool well thanks yeah no it is it's, it's really cool i think the game like everyone i think every character is is so different Mm -hmm. And they all have a different twist, and even with like Jet, with the first cinematic where you know it's not necessarily all in English. That's that's really dope. And then mm -hmm. you've got so many different characters, um, and yeah, so many different backgrounds, so many different voiceover artists that we've all just merged on this really interesting game. So yeah, I, I really, really, um, I really dig that. I think it's so it's so um, so needed as well. Yeah, because yeah, it's, we need to have more voices. Yeah, it's really important um when it when it came to things like that they wanted to uh put in for like the the uk part did they did they write it and then like like put that in there or did they just leave it up to you to put your your twist on it was a, it was a mixture of both it was a mixture of both mm -hmm. it was a mixture of both i think they were really um really key on you know making it fit making it make sense yeah and also, you know, sometimes certain things you know won't they won't sound right out of context so we yeah we spoke about we spoke about a lot of it to be fair and um we just tried to find the the best way to make it work that that doesn't sound forced 
Yeah. And, um, yeah. So it was. It wasn't just. It wasn't like oh, you know, this. You know, this is how it's gonna go. It was very collaborative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I. I. I would assume that it, it's a lot easier for you to, or like, it, just in case that someone is writing something and making it not forced, that you would have you put your twist on it and make it seem fitting in that sense, but. Oh yeah. yeah, and and Phoenix has, and I think with Phoenix as well, there's also an extra bit of license to add a tiny bit more sauce. <laughs> yeah. There's always there's always a bit of license to be like, you know what, we can push it a tiny tiny bit. Yeah. So that that's kind of like the the Phoenix factor we kind of yeah. have. So yeah, so um, I think yeah, it's it's a, it's really cool actually. It's really cool because we can all we, can, we just try and push it and play around. Mm -hmm. But you're right, of course, it's not forced. We try not to, we try not to do that. Yeah. When when it comes to the the Phoenix personality, how much do you as a person embody or resonate with Phoenix? Ooh. Yeah. I think he I think he's cheeky. Uh he's he's funny at times. Um and uh I like to think I can be funny at times. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but um, ultimately, it's just play. It's just play. You know, it's like given circumstances, just playing around and um, and you know, and just having having a real good time. And I think ultimately, that in, you know, Phoenix, he really does, you know, wants to wants to help out the team. Just has his own way of doing it. But ultimately, you know, he really is really does sort of um, yeah, he, his heart's in the right place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I got I got a good one that you probably uh get a lot for a voice line is the ah oh, don't be like that. You also know you want my shoes, the, the jet one. Yeah. Could you say that one? What? what say it again. Uh, ah, uh, don't be like that. You know you'd also want my shoes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, don't be like that. You also know you want my shoes. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Um. What how what do you what are you doing like with your voice? Do you feel like it's a lot different than the Phoenix voice, like from it's your normal voice? It's a bit higher, and uh, um, there's a bit of a smile with it as well, and um, yeah, and and a bit more a bit more colloquial. So yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a there's a brightness to it. There's a brightness to it, the Phoenix. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I can hear it, but I always feel like people say that they don't feel like their voice is just like the character's voice if they, um, if they change it a little bit. But I just, I was wondering, like, do people have, have you been recognized for just your voice? No. No? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh, but have you, have you been recognized out in public for being the Phoenix voice actor? No, I, I don't. No, not no, not really. No. Wow. No, I haven't. I haven't. Wow, that's crazy. I, no, I haven't. Wow. Are you? Are you? Do you live in the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once, to be fair, once I was um, I was working on, on a, on a new on a new project, and I think one of the one of the sort of engineers that I was working with, he could tell. He could tell. He came up to me. But I think that's about that's that's the only sort of time that's happened, and that was a bit like what. But that was <laughs> the first. That past, yeah, I think that's once. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Um, I do want to get like, uh, we're just about at like twenty minutes. Are you good for a couple, uh, more voice lines, and then we'll get you out of here. Yeah, which ones? Chuck them out. Um. Uh. Their MVP is mine. Let's do this. Say it again, so you cut out a bit. Oh, their MVP is mine. Let's do this. Their MVP is mine. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, your your voice is great. It's amazing. I do. I'll give you a little bit of a uh, compliment here. Your performance is phenomenal in this game, and um. I, I just always want to give credit to the the actual voice actor performance. It's it's phenomenal, and I give you very much props for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, we'll do. Yeah, you man, ready for a light show? 
You man ready for a light show? Mm. Okay, we'll get one, one more. Uh, you want me serious? You got it. You want me serious? You got it. Oh, perfect. I, I appreciate you so much for doing this. Just talking for a little bit of time. Um, That's cool. Uh, I, I love your energy and, um, I love the character. So I, I thank you very much for that. And, um, I, I appreciate it a lot. No, no problem. I appreciate what you're doing. It's great. It's great. Thank you. I've been listening to, um, to your, to your sort of your shows and it's, it's really oh. cool actually hearing a lot of, um, seeing a lot of the cast, because obviously we haven't actually all, there's, there's so many of us now. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> It'll be interesting when eventually when it does happen and we get everyone together in a room and we're just like cracking jokes. I think that'd be quite fun. Yes. But, um, meantime, until then, we've got you to sort of bring us together. Yes. Um, and if you yeah. do, if you guys are in a show and uh, like do a conference or a convention in America, I will be there and um, I will be I will be front row to see that happening. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll let you get out of here, but I appreciate it a lot. Um, thank you, and I hope you I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, whatever time it is there. Yeah, no, it's, it's evening here. No worries, no worries. Thank you so um, much. Yes, before I let you guys know, next week we got a sign in. Oh yes. So yeah, if everyone's around, they should hit up, and um, yeah, it should be quite interesting. Yes, we'll we'll get the I'll get the link down in the description if you guys want to go get some uh, prints. I have. One right here from uh, from Steve Bloom, the Brimstone. Oh, cool! And then I have another one over there from the Sky Voice actor. And then I just bought one, and I might I might have to get a Phoenix one now. So yeah, if you you go, you go get a Phoenix one. Okay, if you say so. If you, you get Phoenix one. then you gotta you gotta make it special there. Yeah. When you get the texture one in in the in the pile. Put some extra love on it for me. Extra, extra bit of love, don't worry. Yeah. I've got some you. some Phoenix sauce. No worries, we got you. All right, thank you so much. Take care, man.